We're here at Evergreen High School today because it's the site of our first story. It's about a class where the students learn math by building a house. A good partnership can lead to great things. I'm proud of them. You know, this isn't easy. They come out here in the rain. It's cold. It's, I mean, your hands, they start to get numb. It's not easy, so I'm proud of all of them. Students enrolled in the math and construction class at Evergreen and Mountain View High Schools are partnering with Habitat for Humanity. Together, they're building a home for a family in Clark County. It's just a great partnership. I mean, it just totally makes sense. And I just really like the idea that the kids are learning about math and construction and engineering and they're getting hands-on experience. That's going to carry them through forever. The math and construction course also partners two subjects that at first glance may not seem to have a lot in common. Hey, there are a lot of proofs on here. There are 20 different proofs you could do. So what we do is we combine a math class and a construction class. Um, the kids get a, uh, a one credit for construction and one credit for math. So at the end of the year, you'll be able to pick up two full credits, uh, providing they, they pass both of the classes. Math is something that every kid needs in order to graduate and there are a lot of kids that just don't always get it when you teach it in the traditional manner. This is a more hands-on approach and it's a way to show the kids how math actually applies in real world situations. We try to teach them the math that they need to know out on the build site and show that direct connection. And this building project has made partners of students at Evergreen and Mountain View High Schools. Each school is building half of the new home. We're semi-rivals, I guess you could say, but when it comes to this house, we're, we're, we're a team and uh, we want success for them over there and they want the same for us. Okay, are we ready for this last wall, exterior wall? Math and construction okay. teacher Bill Culver works with students and Habitat for Humanity volunteers at Evergreen High School. When both halves of the home are completed, Habitat will move the two structures to a lot near 37th and Lincoln in Vancouver. So there's a common wall we're building uh, and, and it'll butt right up to where Evergreen's building theirs. Um, they'll lift up both houses, uh, both halves when they're done and bring them to the site and then they'll marry the two pieces together and uh, you won't even, it'll be set on a cement foundation. You won't ever even be able to tell that it wasn't built right there at the, at the site. Habitat is a nonprofit organization that builds affordable homes for low income families around the world. With the motto, a hand up, not a hand out, families are required to buy their homes and put in a large amount of what they call sweat equity. For me, it's 300 hours total. Um, so I had to put in my first 100 hours and that was on everybody else's house. So now I've got, I think it was like 94 hours left um, before my 300 are complete. So now I get to build on mine. Nikki Danforth will live in this home with her two sons, 10-year-old Dakota and 15-year-old Kobe, who's also putting in time on the construction site. When it's finished, this home will have about 1,200 feet of living space. Single story, three bedrooms, two bath, um, very large kitchen, dining and living room area that's all open, um, vaulted ceilings. About the size that this family needs, so it's the biggest house that we've built yet here, so it's almost three times as big as our first house, but now that we're in our third year, uh, we've worked out all the kinks, or a lot of the kinks, and uh, things seem to be going a lot smoother. The partnership with Habitat is one reason things are going smoother this year. The organization is covering all costs of building and moving the home, and they've made sure a buyer is lined up when construction is complete. They've paid for everything uh, up front. All we have to do is do our job and let the kids build, and uh, it takes a lot of the stress of trying to move the house later when we're done. Okay, watch your heads, watch your arms on three, one, two, three. Safety is a top priority for students and volunteers on the construction site. The kids have uh, hard hats, they have uh, safety goggles, and then they all have a tool belt. Uh, we, we have a good action plan before we go out there. We don't just say, hey, let's go put some walls up. We talk to the kids about what it needs to look like. We're always telling the kids, talk with each other, let each other know where you're at. Uh, communication is, is very important when we start lifting those walls up. Uh, some of them weigh several hundred pounds. Math in Construction is a two-hour block course that's now in its third year. On the days when they're not outside building, these students are in the classroom, studying the concepts of geometry and algebra behind the construction work. There's a lot of work with triangles, and you can see triangles in a lot of different places on the construction site, so we try to press that into them a little. 
The hands-on building project makes this a fun and popular class that attracts some students who may have struggled with math in the past. We really push homework completion. If they don't finish their homework, they don't get to build. They don't get to do the fun part. And in this class, we have about 90%, 99% homework completion every day, whereas in my regular math classes, that is not the case. The two-teacher model of the math in construction class makes for another successful partnership. It's a trade-off. We have to decide what days are we going to do math, what days we'll do build. We do a lot based on the weather. We look at the weather each week and make our decisions accordingly. Doing that, we have the opportunity to get two hours in the classroom with math or two hours on the construction site building and um, it, it really makes a difference. If we had one hour to build uh, with construction, we wouldn't get a whole lot done. All of these partnerships between students, teachers, and Habitat for Humanity are making a big impact in the classroom and in the community. We're always trying to encourage our high school students you know, to go out and have community service projects. So this is a really great one. We'd love to continue partnering with them for years.